What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me about Lil Durk. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Ever since the death of his homeboy, King Von, I think a lot of bad has been happening for Lil Durk, in my opinion. Um, King Von death kind of opened up the doors for a lot of people to attack him. And I know that sounds crazy that why he grieving, it kind of gave the ops an opportunity to test him. You have to understand, he still got street beefs in the city where he grew up and was born in, in Chicago. So he has a lot of ops, a lot of neighborhoods that don't really like him out there. Including some of his homeboys, because he kind of got famous and then grabbed everybody. So that kind of made him have more ops. And then remember, the fans love this rap shit. Uh, one of those fans will take you quicker than one of these ops would. Man, they'll take your life quicker than one of these regular people would. So as crazy as that shit sound. Ever since King Von lost his life, Dirk done been in a battle with NBA Youngboy, Quando Rondo, Baby Joe, the whole 4KT, and now he has 6ix9ine dissing him uh, vividly, very disrespectful, telling his homie King Von to ride and piss, uh, disrespecting his sisters and all kind of things. I said in the earlier blog that I thought this was karma because for years Dirk Nin was doing they ops like this when Dirk Nin was super famous and they ops wasn't. Now all of a sudden karma then came and gave you a rich op. The thing with rich ops is it can get dangerous because they're able to do the same thing that you're able to do. You know, booking shows, going to events, uh, getting on airplanes, going to the city where you're at. Those are the ops that Lil Durk got. It's getting dangerous for him. And then single-handedly, he also has Takashi 6 9 NBA Youngboy, Quando, Rondo, his ops, some of his frenemies, and then the feds are watching. King Von Defton brought a lot of attention to O Block. FBG Duck Death brought a lot of attention to O Block. Not because he's from O Block, but because his mom's is claiming that those guys had something to do with her son losing his life. Um, it's a lot of attention there for the wrong reasons. I'm hearing a lot of people is on their way out of that motherfucking O Block community. I wouldn't be surprised in two, three years that everybody be gone. You see nobody out there no more. Because not only do the world knows that that's a place that people call dangerous. We seeing rappers coming out there treating that shit like a tour site. You know, they treat this shit like a tour event. People coming out here wanting to rap past O Block. I have no idea. Ain't like you can buy candy or get some souvenirs. It's a place where a lot of people has lost their lives. I understand rappers that came out of there, so it became prominent. But, um,. I never understood the allure of people wanting to go to communities that's known for deaths and murders and shit like that. It's a crazy situation. In my opinion, Dirk is doing it right. Recently, he didn't drop songs with Kalani. He doing songs with Drake. He working with Kanye West and all kind of political and aldermen. I think that's his way of jumping in the background because he feel the fire getting hot. I'm not sure if he gave his information to his homeboys, because when I see Lil Durk, he not speaking on the King Von shit. He not speaking on Quando Rondo. He not speaking on NBA Young Boy. It seemed like he's smart. He playing the background. He not going to get in trouble. When the feds come, they're going to have to dig in deep to try to get him. But you got Boss Top on the internet running his mouth. You got DQ from O Block on the internet running his mouth. You got Memo 600 running his mouth. 600 Breezy running his mouth. What are you going to win by running your mouth, but letting the feds in on what you're doing? The police is already claiming you guys are a dangerous, violent gang. Then you get on live with Takashi 6 9 and threaten to kill him and pull guns out on him. You're proving his case. Do not let this guy incite you to try to pull you into a case. I didn't think this shit happened with plenty of people. I thought Dirk was a little smarter than that, but I see he is smart. That's why he's playing the background. I would love for this guy to get the same kind of advice that he's taking to some of his artists. Because L.A. Capone was under his tutelage. He lost his life. Rondo was under his mentorship. He's doing 40 years in jail. Chino was his manager, lost his life. King Von lost his life. J Money was his homie, lost his life. So, Dirk, you're going to have to lead these guys in the right direction because it seems like you getting a lot of good guidance and mentorship. Hopefully, the same advice people giving you, you give that shit to your artists because they dying every day. And the ones that's not dying, they're involved in shit that could lead them to that. Besides the names I named, now you got OTF Timo. He's involved with shit. His friend was just killed. They're cracking jokes about somebody who died next day. Trello loses life.
these are the guys that you're surrounding yourself with. I think it's time to be smart and treat this shit like a business. You feel me? It's the homie truth. Blech.